so uh, saying in 1976 I came to Buddhism then I came to Theravada Buddhism but then uh, after a while in 1977 I met this American monk disciple of Master Hua came from America, city of 10,000 Buddhas and he was going to various places in Malaysia and uh, he came to Kuantan and he was quite an quite a quite, quite a quite a person in the sense that uh, he had a master's degree from Stanford University and he was a tall handsome guy six feet three ex naval officer and uh, he had a wife and he gave up his wife to become a monk and <clears throat> He was a very good meditator. Sometimes he would ask this layman to bring him to the beach and he would uh, sit there and meditate for quite, quite a while. And so after he left, he went back to America because that layman was bringing him around. Uh, and he gave a, quite a substantial donation to his monastery. So he sent a whole lot of books from America and uh, these books were on Mahayana Sutras, translations of Mahayana Sutras, but also what was very impressive was uh, the biography of Master Hua. And of course, uh, it was very impressive. And at that time, uh, being new to Buddhism, you kind of believe everything. <laughs> so I swallowed everything and, <laughs> and uh, was so taken up by this teacher that uh, I was very impressed with this uh, idea of compassion, vegetarianism, the bodhisattva ideal and all that. So I, I went along that way, started to practice and study more Mahayana Buddhism. At that time, you know, I, I was working and uh, <clears throat> I started to become more and more serious about uh, Buddhism and uh, started to think of uh, that uh, uh, the best thing to do with life is to become a monk. So I had my goal of becoming a monk in the city of 10,000 Buddhas. So I, I realized that uh, if you become a monk there, and they were supposed to uh, practice certain things like uh, eating one meal a day, uh, sitting, sleep, uh, sitting, sleeping. In other words, you don't lie down. You don't ever lie down. You, uh, so I started to practice that even as a layman. Uh, 